Thanks for joining us tonight. All eyes are on the COVID-19 vaccine and how it'll be distributed. But with how quickly the vaccine was created, many wonder what research went into it. Well, tonight we're digging deeper into how a vaccine is created. Our Alex Tejada spoke to a male researcher. In a minefield here because you don't know if what you've learned from a prior pathogen is really going to work. And so there's a lot of trial and error and testing. Even once the vaccine goes from the lab to animal trials to trials in humans, there are still three phases. It all starts with researching what the virus does to the body and how the immune system responds to it. The immune system can do any of a number of things. Some of them may cause harm, like we're seeing with the cytokine storm, and some of them may actually protect us. We've heard a lot about neutralizing antibody. But how exactly does the vaccine work, and is it safe for all age groups to take? So the ultimate goal of any vaccine is to help your immune system create T cells and B cells that can attack the virus in the case of B cells and antibody or attack virus infected cells. It involves getting a viral protein into your body, which is what the vaccines being developed by Pfizer and Moderna do. However, these are new vaccines being quickly developed, which is a cause for concern. Vaccines aren't perfect. They do have side effects. Uh, but those side effects are minimal and rare compared to the obvious side effects and, and harm that can come from the disease. And not just the new coronavirus vaccine, but all kinds of pathogens and vaccines are being researched and developed at Mayo. And you have to do something else in the meantime, but then as soon as you get the answer and you're ready to take the next step, you've got to be able to jump on that next step immediately. So flexibility as well as hard work and long hours all come into play. In Rochester, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. Thanks, Alex. Whether it's influenza or the new coronavirus, viruses can mutate. Dr. Kennedy says this is why a new flu shot is needed every year. While the coronavirus mutates slower than the flu, Kennedy is unsure how often a new vaccine will need to be developed. He also reminds the public even after any vaccine is approved, clinical trials continue in order to study its effects on the immune system and continue to improve the vaccine.